Trippity bop bop bop, trippity bop, super clean. No more bees clean up the mess, we're gonna clean up the super clean mess. Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's for the first time you're tuning in, thanks for stopping in. Exciting news here on the channel, we got some fun stuff to try out. Um, super clean sent us some products to try out, which is kind of the lineup of what we got. We got some floor absorbent, we've got some uh, wheel cleaner, uh, we've got their uh, foaming degreaser, um, and then we have their just their generic classic uh, super clean degreaser, and they also gave us an aerosol can. I'm not going to make this all in one video, I kind of want to try it out, see how it works, stay with my honest opinion on this stuff. There's all sorts of different applications for this different stuff here, and I've got some tough messes around the garage I want to try it out on. So. I'm going to make several different videos um, on this stuff and give you guys my honest feedback on it to see how well it really works. Um, I've seen nothing but raving views about it and and uh, I guess we'll see how it works. So stick around guys and uh, we'll play with some of those different chemicals, see how they work, how they don't work and uh, kind of go from there. Alright, so the first one on tap is the super clean, super foaming Tough Task Cleaner Degreaser. All right. Um, so this is biodegradable, um, dissolves grease super easy and super fast. First thing we got here is a Litco Little Town Vice, number 112. It's a vice we've had sitting around for quite a long time. I want to get it nice and cleaned up. You'll see all the gre grease and grime on it here. Um, you know, it really needs, needs a good clean up. You see what kind of condition it's in, you know, maybe we'll do a little bit of restoration on it. Um, so we're going to degrease all this, get it cleaned up, look at the paint. And like I said, if it needs a new new paint job, maybe we'll do that here in another video on a refurbish. Otherwise, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Some of the wording's hard to read on it here. Um, uh, maybe once we get it cleaned up, we can get a look at it here. But it's, it looks like a pretty nice little vice. Um, I like to get mounted on my bench top here. So, um, like I said, the super clean uh, degreaser here. You know, it's got many uses. They say you know, engines, tools, driveways, grills, outdoor furniture, kitchens. Really, the they have a the whole you know. The list of stuff here, it's really got <laughs> quite a few different uses. Um, really the biggest caveat with this stuff is you want to make sure that you're testing on an inconspicuous area. So some place that you aren't going to see to make sure it's not going to damage the product before you use it. Um, and then to make sure that the surfaces are as cool as possible. Oddly enough, most degreasers want you to have it warm, hot. Um, and really that regard, you want to um, you know get a nice working, cleaning surface. Well, super clean stuff works better on cold surfaces. So... Maybe, maybe this is one of those instances where you could use something where historically you have to heat it, you know, use a hotter liquid. This is going to do a good job on cold surfaces. Um, so just make sure the surface is as cool as possible. You know, it's, it's cold out here in the garage. I got 50 degrees. Um, just cover the surface with super clean, the appropriate strength, allowing it to dissolve the grease and grime. And do not allow it to dry on the surfaces. Obviously, they'll cause corrosion and such like that. You know, it's, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty uh, aggressive detergent, but it doesn't seem like it. You know, by the way, it's made... Um, doesn't have the harsh chemical smells. Um, and so depending upon how you're using it, you're gonna wear gloves, eye protection, and all that fun jazz. Um, and it says to rinse thoroughly and dry. Um, that's the important thing here. Um, it, it's one of those things that you wanna make sure you get all the extra stuff off so you don't have any ill effects on the vice and such like that. Okay. Clean the spray down here. Obviously, we're going to have to re-lubricate this when we're done, but I want to get all this nasty buildup on it of years of use and uh, to see what it looks like. Let it set for a couple of seconds, and then we'll go ahead and start wiping some stuff off. Tough task, right? I mean, it comes for a, a tough task degreaser, so we'll see how I get this cleaned up. We'll kind of do a... First wipe it down over here and see how this turns out. So far so good. It's taking all this extra grease off, which is what we were wanting. So it's quite a thick film on a lot of these spots. You're gonna see down in here, it's pretty thick. And uh, you know, it's taken off a good bunch of it in the first pass. I know uh, the second application isn't gonna hurt.
got the uh, stuff all degreased with it. Works like a champ. You're gonna see here in a minute once we get this all rinsed off and reassembled. It just takes everything off of it. That's really impressive. You actually can read the vice now. It says Little Town, Town Foundry Co. Little Town, PA. I think I said that correctly. USA. So made in USA. Um, there is a, a few things we'll get rinsed off here, but it's a really nice shape for the vice. Um, I got all the grease off it that uh, super clean just dissolves it. It's just crazy. Um, some of the stuff was pretty tough, but you can tell it's been on there for quite a little while. But it did take it off. You know, I got my the bolts all cleaned up here for within reason. Um, you saw me there on that time lapse taking it all apart uh, to get it all cleaned up. And uh, we'll go ahead and give it a wash it down and dry it off to within reason here. I got this little pump spray bottle in here. It's cold outside, so hopefully this way I can keep myself in here where it's warm, rinse things off, get all the the bad stuff off of it. I need to get a a wash sink out here, that would be nice. It appears the super clean was up to the task. I, you know, this thing turned up really nice. There's a little bit of corrosion in certain spots, you'll see. Um, but I mean, this thing really did turn out good. Um, I would expect, you know, it's an old use and abuse vice. Basically, what didn't clean up is some, you know, corrosion spots. It was, you know, a little bit of paint would touch up. But for what it is, I'm going to leave it just how it is. Um, it did a really good job. Obviously, on some of the tougher stuff, I had to do a little more brushing on it. But that is to be expected. I mean, it turned out really good. I'm happy with it. Um, like I said, what's left for brown spots pretty much is just corrosion and such from, you know, from years of abuse. So I'm happy with how it turned out. And it's it's really, you know, it's it really did do a good job. You know, I didn't expect anything less, but hey, you know, you never know. Um, they have some products out there that say they do the job and they don't. Um, I, just a couple of plugs here for the channel. Um, yeah, Super Clean gave me the opportunity to do this. So um, I'm going to put uh, in the link down below here. Um, an Amazon link to where you can pick this up. Um, it is an affiliate channel I have set up. So, you know, if you guys go to the channel, you know, go and buy something, I may get a little kickback to help fund the, the cause here. And another little plug here too, is you probably saw me here wiping down when I was reassembling it. Obviously I always re-lubricate everything, especially after degreasing because you can remove all the grease off something, especially when it's got functional parts, you don't want to necessarily do that. And plus, you know, like I said, there is some bare metal on this. And I don't want it to corrode. So one of the things I like to use, um, you know, WD-40, the traditional WD-40 has certain uses for, you know, getting bolts to come apart and whatnot and, and just generalized cleaning. But uh, this stuff here, the WD-40 Specialist, it is a, uh, a spray and stay gel lubricant. Um, it says it lubricates 12 times longer than regular WD-40, um, the multi-use product. Um, so it has superior lubrication, prevents rust for up to one year. So generally what I'll do, I'll use this in the traction in many different spots. It works great. Um, it has a, it's a phenomenal product as well. Um, it's got a couple different, you know, the spray here in the front, the spray nozzle. But um, again, um, this is a really nice, it is, it's really good for um, removing parts and other other things like that, vertical surfaces. It's really thick. It's more of a, I guess, a grease than it is a spray that you would expect to clean with or, um, you know, to, uh, to get into certain spots there. But it does a really good job. Um, I wiped this all down with it to get, to get it all back to a protected finish um, and just to make sure there's no water gonna create an issue. But um, it turned out really good. I should mention, I'll put a link to this down in the description below as well. If you guys wanna buy some, highly recommend this stuff. WD-40 um, Specialist Gel Spray. It works really well. Use it all over the place. Put a link down below as well. So we're gonna go over. I've got some tough deck work on my mower, uh, my zero turn mower. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this spray on it as well to get some grime off the deck that I can't get off otherwise. It is a mess. Some of the stuff on this deck is stuck on and I can't get it off. Between brushing it, scrubbing it with soap and water, it doesn't come off. We'll see if it super cleans up to the task. If, any, if this is any indication of it, I think it will be. So let's go check that out. So here's another great example of something I can't clean. This was all power washed in the fall and cleaned up and now it's got sawdust. Now I'm sitting here in the shop. but. I could never get all this grime off when I was power washing things off. And yeah, I'm one of those people who likes to keep their mowers clean. I know, I'm weird, but let's see how this how this foaming cleanser works on this. I'm really kind of curious to see, you know, if we get this all doused down here a little bit cleaner, 
put some tape here to kind of you know keep things separated a little bit so we can see how things really work but let's see how this how this foaming degreaser works on this no scrubbing here this is just spraying it on then give it a little bit of a swirl to, to clean it up you can see that it's just eating through that stuff i mean there's stuff on the bottom here where it, it rubs the grass it's probably going to come off a little bit more difficult i mean obviously but it's just eating through this stuff it's just disgusting how dirty this deck is Take this tape off. Wow. Get you in there so you can see that. Just a little bit of spraying on, and so you can see there, that grind is left over. I mean, like I said, I power wash the crap out of this. I put soap on it. Nothing came off. But you can see down here in the front, that's, that's basically new. New looking. Obviously, there's a little bit down here in the bottom. Yeah, I didn't do much scrubbing on it, but I kind of just wanted to see what it looked like. And, man, that is, that is clean. So... I guess for the sake of the argument, I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of that bottom so it don't look so bad. Well, I'd say it does a pretty good job. I'll give her a quick rinse job here with a little water, just like they said. You don't have, probably don't have to worry about it so much, but why not? Since I got the water here, rinse her off good. and You need that extra greaser off there because that could be hard on the could be hard on the paint. You know, it's like they're saying they don't want you having long-term exposure to the paint, you know. So, I uh, heed by their warnings and make sure, you know, you don't worry about it. I got a four drain here anyway, so this water can go right down. But since this is all biodegradable, it's not gonna hurt us all. But you know, hey, a couple aside from a couple minor scratches on this, I'd say she is mint, folks. I mean that's clean. In fact, I could be super clean, I guess if you don't call it that. So my initial impressions on this thing is it works really well. I mean, I think it would work well on a lot of different applications like it says here on the container. Um, obviously, just to be safe, wear some of the proper safety equipment, gloves, glasses, whatever you need to do. Some people have skins more sensitive than others. And make sure, you, again, you test this on an, inconspic an inconspicuous spot to make sure it's not gonna cause any harm on your product. Um, one thing I do like about it, it really doesn't have a smell. A lot of deep greasers usually are pretty strong smelling and really detergent -y. You know, it works really well with really high strength, good quality stuff, but I don't think it's, you know, it's not going to be one of those situations where it's going to gas you out of a room. So I'd recommend it. Five out of five, in my opinion, on the uh, cleaner so far. The foaming action is nice and does a really good job getting a really good thick foam on there. It adheres well to the surfaces. Obviously, if it's extremely vertical, it may, it may not stick as well. Um, like we saw there on the lower deck, but it cleaned up right away, so it wasn't a huge deal. Um, we're going to try more of these out in the future. I'll post a link down below in the description of this where you can buy it on like Amazon. Um, again, I like this stuff. I think it's going to be uh, a powerhouse cleaner for me and I'll be using it around the house quite a bit. There's a lot of projects for it, you know, cleaning the truck, cleaning inside the truck, cleaning outside the truck, cleaning stuff off the siding. I, again, the, this, the endless, I think the uses are endless with this and I'll make sure I keep making videos on this stuff as we go and I, I'm really thrilled with it. So if you guys like the content today, give me a thumbs up. It's the best thing you do to help the channel out. If you are already part of the YouTube family, hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. Appreciate you all tuning in. Appreciate the viewership. And I'll see you all next time. I'll catch you in the next video.